A Girl's Garden by Robert Frost A neighbor of mine in the village likes to tell how one spring, when she was a girl on the farm, she did a childlike thing. One day, she asked her father to give her a garden plot to plant and tend and reap herself, and he said, Why not? In casting about for a corner, he thought of an idle bit of walled-off ground where a shop had stood, and he said, Just it. And he said, That ought to make you an ideal one-girl farm and give you a chance to put some strength on your Slim Jim arm. It was not enough of a garden, her father said, to plow, so she had to work it all by hand, but she don't mind now. She wheeled the dung in the wheelbarrow along a stretch of road, but she always ran away and left her not-nice load, and hid from anyone passing, and then she begged the seed. She says she thinks she planted one of all things but weed, a hill each of potatoes, radishes, lettuce, peas, tomatoes, beets, beans, pumpkin, corn, and even fruit trees. And yes, she has long mistrusted that a cider apple tree in bearing there today is hers, or at least may be. Her crop was a miscellany when all was said and done, a little bit of everything, a great deal of none. Now, when she sees in the village how village things go, just when it seems to come in right, she says, I know. It says when I was a farmer. Oh, never by way of advice. And she never sins by telling the tale to the same person twice.